so good evening to one and all so <coughs> distinguished dignitaries on the dais at the outset i have immense pleasure to welcome our board director dr d ramrao who has been guiding us in all our activities of norm and help us to achieve whatever creek to be yen today we welcome you welcome you sir i would like to welcome dr sk som head of the division icm division who has been great source of inspiration of us and uh, who support us in all our activities and i also welcome dr dinesh kumar course director for constant support from iasri for the conducting this program and i also wish to welcome all the resource persons so this uh, workshop we conducted for this 3 days workshop september 22nd 24 on national um, agriculture bioinformatics so here we uh, there are 32 participants participated in this program so 15 from icr institute and 6 uh, from state agriculture universities 10 research scholars attended this training program from various all over india so this uh, program we uh, we have covered maximum topics tools and uh, maximum uh, overview about all the tools ngs technicals and all and here we have started with this bioinformatics infrastructure and programs of nres about asoka computers so description of snp kai through technicals ngs technicals we have covered application of bioinformatics in plant pro- protein interaction studies high throughput genotyping of se- sequences based on triad mapping so databases and bioinformatics for crop improvements so overview of transcriptomics application of proteomics tools for understanding and improving meat quality based pack bio based de novo genome sequencing so these are the topics almost we have covered uh, the recent topics what are the recent trends going on in bioinformatics and its application in agriculture so role of animal science also we covered role of animal and animal breedings how they are using hands on session about this uh, ngs fast qc and uh, genome analysis tools allele mining marker discoveries allele mining and marker discoveries so transcriptomics structural functional anatomies in silico mrna identifications and metagenomic analysis these are the topics we have covered sir but now i request the participants give feedback uh, uh, sir i feel that uh, we have really got a good uh, sensitization uh, to think on this line and integrate uh, this in our uh, respective research field uh, to make uh, maximum use of these tools so that we can make uh, really a good uh, headway uh, to increase the productivity be it of animal or plants or uh, for that matter of fish uh, any other uh, any agriculture resources i think uh, this three days training was only a sensitization for us uh, and i think most of the participants will also agree with me but definitely this will uh, give us a uh, enough uh, encouragement uh, to really uh, venture on this uh, aspects uh, and to do something uh, new what we are traditionally doing uh, i uh, on my behalf and on behalf of the participants uh, thank the organizer and also the resource uh, person especially from the people of uh, kevin team who has really given us a excellent uh, exposure this is just uh, this uh, area of bioinformatics is just a beginning at norm in fact uh, we started last year and uh, uh, slowly slowly we are uh, we are moving towards uh, uh, again the some kind of betterment and those kind of things so last year it was just a beginning we had a program and then we thought that uh, let us have a, a workshop first before going to uh, to further specialized mode and when we were designing the program this year then uh, our uh, director dr ramarao he is also taking lot of interest in this new area by informatics thanks sir thank you thank
the outset i would like to compliment all of you for having come for this particular program as dr som has mentioned uh, this is a program in transition right or maybe for iasri uh, it could be somewhat their fault and uh, they have it but the way the academy does is this is second program is it yeah second program first was a training this is a workshop normally for a workshop i would expect practicing researchers or scientists would come so that we spend only 2 3 days uh, we don't go much on to the hands on type of things we discuss deliberate and go back exchange more uh, but uh, maybe in next program we'll try to put more focus on the training so that the people come here that we include as you said suggested some hands on also but the important point is we are going ahead because icr as its various government departments are making a huge investment in this area and you know some of you are very close to that at least the nature of your science makes you to be like that get into that maybe someone working in rice will never disclose what they are doing to iri what they are doing to crri or what they are doing to another competitor somewhere in india or somewhere in iri do it but that's what is needed are we that competitive are we working in that type of spirit so we look forward to this this is as i said country looks to you as hope but i we at least from the academy i look to you you try to take science to a new dimension that competitive spirit possibly you people this science can bring and maybe to some extent i also add those people who are working in nanotechnology and biotechnology put together now these are the things that can bring a new working culture in the organization so we look forward to you all and i congratulate all of you for having come and compliment you for taking this course would like to convey through you to your directors vice chancellors our gratitude and having nominated you and also encourage you for coming over here i wish you all a very happy journey back home thank you very much so it's a great unique pleasure for me to express the gratitude to my teacher and uh, also the today he is our director and uh, he was associated with our center in capacity of national director national coordinator ddg so many positions uh, dr ramasar was ramasar sir was having and in all capacity he had been very instrumental in supporting to dr rai sir and that is actually supporting the entire team of kevin so sir we express our gratitude and uh, respected dr som sir because he is the actual person supporting dr balakrishna especially for this program supporting us as a head of the division of uh, icm division of nam he has been my teacher as well and uh, he is very silent person but behind the scene he is supportive to each and every one that's his quality his way of working so uh, we express our sincere thanks to you sir uh, for all kind of support and all kind of encouragement you have given to us so we express our thanks and i am also expressing my thank to uh, dr balakrishnan especially taking all the responsibility so, right. so 
thank you dr bala for your perfect companionship partnership and the kind of uh, collaborative gesture you have and the kind of opening you have made in the national platform for this country's requirement yes, so i think nam has provided a platform and the credit goes to the leaders like dr rama rao and the credit also goes to the person who created nam at the central place in india i i think that's a very advantageous place like we can take care of the country and the second the second important trait which i see in nam that it is neutral to all disciplines a person like me can also survive in agriculture without studying agriculture norm can serve all discipline of agriculture because it is a neutral if we manage this training in ivri ndri or iri i think many of the directors and sau vice chancellors will not send uh, that this is not of that discipline so the credit goes to the norm its founders that they made it at central place they gave the clear mandate to serve the country and uh, to be of maximum use so i express to uh, my sincere thanks to all previous directors visionaries to create this kind of institution where we can make the best commando force for food security not for india for to for the world even for the next 50 years so so i think this is skill is required to serve the genome and to move towards the genome revolution rather than green revolution and uh, sensitization which dr sarkar was telling that's truth that we have done so we are thankful to each one of you uh, to being with us to giving your critical feedback and also uh, a kind of assurance you have given that we will remain in touch with each other and some of you have taken email id phone number and given your research problems i i see the lot of advantages uh, to be in the norm so i am expressing our sincere thank and i am also expressing thanks to dr kalpana ma'am as the joint director dr r kalpana sastri madam Uh, she is also my guru and joint director and uh, she supported this program today she is not in the office but we express our thanks and we also express thanks